something like 10 billion trillion habitable planets in the universe. 10 billion trillion chances for the brain to be eclipsed by something else. The search for intelligent life is more than just a scientific curiosity. It's driven by a deep desire to connect with something greater. Finding an alien civilization wouldn't just reveal we're not alone. It could chart a new course of evolution for our species. Even a nuclear war on a nearby planet would be virtually impossible to detect with current technology. Radio waves are ideal for carrying information long distance because compared to other forms of light, they travel more freely through interstellar gas and dust. Our own radio transmissions have now traveled 100 light years and reached 75 star systems, some of which include potentially habitable planets. And if alien intelligence lies beyond this bubble of signals, they could still infer life on Earth by spotting oxygen in our atmosphere. Only a series of false alarms and dead-end leads. We call it the Great Silence. But in reality, the search has barely even begun. High-powered laser bursts can outshine a star by thousands of times and can carry far more data per second than radio. We would have to be in direct line of sight to detect the beam. But spread across many light years, they would widen to encompass entire planets and moons Fleets of laser beacons could be used to sweep the entire galaxy, like alien lighthouses in a cosmic sea. Or maybe intelligent life is taking an entirely different approach to communication, using space-time itself as a medium. By manipulating high gravity objects, they could in theory create patterned distortions of space-time, which could ripple through the universe in all directions. But making gravity waves strong enough to be detectable would be extremely energy intensive. We tend to assume that alien intelligence would share our motivation to communicate. But they may find the prospect of making contact too dangerous or too futile. If this is the case, then we have to get more creative in our search. And even though this explanation looks unlikely, it hints at a new way of finding intelligent life not listening for signals, but looking for their technology directly. Not searching for messengers, but searching for engineers. The Kardashev scale divides them into three levels. Type 1 would have a mastery of their home planet, using all the energy available on it. Type 2 would have mastery over their star, harnessing all its solar energy. Type 3 would have mastery over their entire galaxy and would be more foreign to us than we are to amoeba. branch out across the galaxy, 
Life forms this advanced will probably need near light speed travel. And if they do have this capability, there's a chance we could catch them in the act. Alien starships that hit the brakes at light speed could leave behind a long trail of ionized gas. These trails might emit detectable infrared radiation. In theory, cosmic architects could assemble enormous planetary systems far more intricate than anything nature could produce. One possible system that would be gravitationally stable involves nine sun-like stars orbiting a supermassive black hole, which could support 550 Earth-like planets in a habitable zone. These artisanal solar systems could make ideal long-term habitats, or could even function as an alien nature reserve, with each planet hosting a different strain of life. Hard to imagine any life forms more advanced than this. But in theory, there could be beings that control or created our universe itself. Thank you.